Hello, hello. This is Rick's cousin from Australia. Going to take you through some parcels today. Just kidding, folks. It's really me. I don't have a cousin in Australia. But I am going to take you through some of the parceling tools. So I want to subdivide some properties in my subdivision. And you can see in this example, most of the lots have already been uh, parceled out. I've got a couple of uh, areas here that I would like to subdivide up in this northeast corner, northwest corner. So I'm going to use some of these civil 3D parceling tools to do that for me quite quickly and easily. So uh, just so you can see what this subdivision is going to look like, uh, if I turn on my background maps, you can see that uh, that's uh, approximately how uh, big my lots are going to be. And uh, I should be able to do that fairly quickly using some of the parceling tools. So the first thing you're going to have to do before you can begin parceling is you're going to have to have some polylines, uh, closed polylines created already. And right now you can see these polylines or these lines and arcs here uh, are not joined together and this is not a polyline that is closed. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use my join command and I'm going to select these objects in both areas and that should automatically turn those into a polyline and uh, close them for me. So you have to make sure that those polylines are closed here for sure, and otherwise the parceling tools will not work. So once I've got that done, I can go to my Home tab and I can go to the Parceling drop-down and go uh, create parcels from objects. So I'm going to want to create two big parcels uh, from those polylines. And my advice to parceling is to start big and move your way into smaller subdivisions. So for instance, I want to create a two big lots using these two areas here. And then I will subdivide out those two big lots into smaller lots, kind of like what you see here in these other areas. So uh, first thing, I'm going to use my parcel tool, create parcel from objects. And I'm going to pick uh, my two parcels and it's going to ask me to put it into a site it's going to want to give it a particular style and a label as well so I'm just going to label it with the parceling number if I wanted to as well I could turn on the uh, uh, bearing and distance commands to do some labeling for me on the fly I'm going to erase my polylines as I create them and I'm going to say okay and what I've got here now is two parceling objects and if I take a look um, if I select those objects, you'll see here I've got some um, tools unique to my uh, parcel objects. And if I go into my Prospector tab, I can expand out sites. There's my site, and they'll be listing my parcels. And if I select my parcels on uh, the Prospector tab, I can see them listed down here. So if I need to change numbers or anything like that, I can do that down here as well. So what my next goal now is to subdivide out these two larger parcels into smaller parcels. So for this tool, I'm going to use my parcel creation tools. And uh, this uh, is an expandable toolbar here. And what you'll want to do first is set up some of your minimum uh, requirements. So for instance, you may have a minimum area if we're using city specs. Uh, that's usually around 330 for uh, low density single dwelling houses. Uh, you can have minimum frontages if you like. Um, if you're subdividing out based on frontages, you can use uh, frontage offsets. So if you have a minimum frontage of, say, 5 meters, and you would like that uh, to be measured from 5 meters back from the property line, you could say yes, and then that would be the, uh, the frontage setback distance that you're measuring here in this area, as you can see uh, in the example. Um, your frontage offset, uh, let's take a look at your minimum width. So if I have a minimum width, I may specify a minimum width of 10 or whatever your minimum widths are, your minimum depths, etc., etc. Uh, a couple of other things here. This is important. If you have this turned off, it'll create one parcel at a time. If you turn it on, it'll create all the parcels at once. So I'm going to start with off first. And I've got a number of different tools here. So I can create lines uh, manually if I like, and arcs as well. Um, some of the easier tools to use perhaps are the slide line create. And what, what this will do is it'll slide a, uh, your line around the frontage and create lots for you. So I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to use slide line create 
and uh, it's going to ask me to put my parcels into a site. I can leave it at the defaults, say OK. And then uh, what I'm going to want to do on the command line, it's asking me for the parcel to be subdivided. So I'm going to go ahead and select this upper parcel first. And then it says specify a start point on the frontage. So what I'm going to do now uh, on my screen, um, make sure you have your snaps on. You're going to tie to the front edge of where those lots will be facing. Towards the street is usually uh, the case. So I'm going to select a point on my uh frontage start and then it's going to ask me for my fronted end, end point and my parcels will end here at the end of this curve I'll hit enter and it'll ask me for a bearing and an angle so if I want I can specify by clicking two points to specify a bearing if I want my lots to follow this angle here I could specify these two points as an angle I could type in a bearing if I hit enter it will use the uh, uh, azimuth perpendicular to the frontage. So if I say enter, it's going to ask me some uh, questions here and it'll go through making my lots one by one as I hit enter, 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 enter. And then when I'm finished, I can hit enter again and escape and there will be my lots. So, so there's my lots and uh, if I want, if I'm not happy with any of these, I can select the object and you'll see that there's a little grip there and if I want, I can move that grip around to wherever I like if I'd like to uh, change the location of the lot and the same with any of these intermediate objects as well if I turn my snaps off I can just slide it along anywhere I like and just pop it in there and you can select your lot and go into your parcel properties and check things like uh, the area and the perimeter and there's also some map check and inverse analysis you can look in here in as well and create reports later if you so want to and that's essentially how uh, you subdivide your lots and down here in your parcels section on your site uh, you will see all your lots uh, created if you would like to change things such as the area label style or perhaps the par uh, parcel label style you can just go ahead and select those lots in the list and uh, hold your shift key in select your lots keep holding your shift key in pick one of those cells and change it to a different type of lot and then say OK and there you go. So that's how you can create some parcels.